guys and welcome to Beffy Creates. So today is Valentine's Day. When I'm bored, typically, as most people do, I scroll through Pinterest and I saw an abstract project that you can do with children, which involves standing them against a canvas and drawing around them and then making an abstract painting from, you know, their silhouettes. So I thought that I would do that today, but try and make it a little bit more Valentine's y. Before we start, I am going to need a volunteer, so I'm going to go wrangle me a volunteer. I'll be back. I have a question. Which one? You know how it's Valentine's Day? Will you yeah. be in a video with me? What do I have to do? I'm going to make art out of your body. <laughs> is, is that a yes? On the internet? Yes. Okay. So guys, because it's Valentine's Day, I thought today we'd have a guest. It is... Hello there. Don't want to turn it off. What is this technology? Is this going on the YouTubes? I've got an itch right there. Where? Just around. That there, okay. <laughs> the ears in the way. What do you want me to do? Chop it off? Actually, I No. I would like to keep my ear so I can hear all the bullshit you in wanna, the chat. Do you want to see your weird silhouette? <laughs> What's with that? What's me? It's really small. You could do like eyeballs, hair. Yeah, why is my head up to Is my head up to that small? It's because I've cut your ears off. Hold on, that's almost quite sexy. Give me some like pecs and a six pack and some nipples to twizzle. Okay, next pose. Okay, um. Next? Do you like the abs? Mm-mm. Do you like one with your arms up? So I like can. Stop it. <laughs> Didn't do anything. Uh-huh. What happened to my neck? Am I gonna crick? <laughs> Staying alive. Or even though I like my pointy finger. Just give me like mitten hands. <laughs> I'm a freak! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this might possibly be the best idea <laughs> that we have had thus far. <laughs> I feel like a 3D thing in here. I could just say like this for a long time. You didn't- wait, it's not recording. Ah! 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 I have a bean head! This is quite 
ganz schön kauf drauf. You look like you got one really short arm and one really long one. The doodle of Beth has become a fat thumbed picture. Real art right here. You see the hair first, folks. Peace. Should I tell a funny joke before I leave? I mean, if you want to, come to yours. So a blind man walks into a shop with a seeing eye dog and he's swinging it around with its, with its lead over his head and the shopkeeper says, Hey mate, do you need any help? And he says, nah, I'm just having a look around. Hey, thanks for letting me on your video. Love you. Thanks for being on my video.
I'll give you a proper view of them in a minute. Yeah, so sorry that this outro is a little bit rushed. I managed to fully book myself somehow this week to the point where I pulled an all-nighter last night to get this one done. So it's a bit of a rush job. It needs a couple of extra layers doing and the board is doing, but it is done. It was a really fun project. I highly recommend it. Especially if you want to make art in your house with your partner. It doesn't even have to be your partner. It could be your roommate, your friend, your children. Uh, it's it's a good abstract technique, really, because you it doesn't really need much prep. You literally just need a pencil and a person and a canvas, a piece of paper. You could do it on the wall if you really wanted to. It's really, really simple and easy, uh, especially because I've painted that with wall paint, which is what I normally do anyway. But uh, it would probably look even better on a wall if you did like a full size wall. If I could paint in my house, I would. It's also great. I'm really glad we did it from a Valentine's Day perspective. Because I always like to include Toby in my videos because I think he's cool. And it's also most Valentine's Day art or couples art that you see is normally, it's normally like plaster casts of hand holding and you know big photos of them kissing and lots of love arts and I think this is a great alternative to be honest because not only can you adjust it so you can do your favourite colours you can match it to your decor you can have this really cool piece of abstract art and when people ask about it you can just be like yeah, it's abstract art. You don't have to tell them specifically that it's... I was going to say love art. It's love art. You can have them any size that you like. You can have really, really big canvases like this one. This one is 800 centimeters by 120 centimeters. Uh, I don't know what size that one is, but it's smaller. Uh, you can do really, really small pieces, you could do really, really big pieces, and I think it's just a really, really cool idea. I think I really do like this one, but I think this one's my favourite. Uh, just because it has yellow in it, and yellow is one of my favourite colours. Um, but that's what I mean. You can change them up, you can add glitter to them, you could probably do it with collage if you were that crafty. I, think, I just think it's a really good alternative to take a step back from all of the, the hand-holding and the, the mushy stuff. Uh, so if you want some cool abstract art and you want to get your partner involved, I highly recommend. I have to go now because there is, I have a thousand things to do uh, today and I think I've got through three of them. So I'm gonna leave you guys in peace and I will probably see you either Wednesday or Saturday. No? Prop day is Sunday. Where did I get Saturday from? I will either see you Wednesday or Saturday. No, I said it again. I will either see you Wednesday or Sunday. Thank you for watching guys and I will see you soon. Bye bye.